initially when they asked me to do it, I don't think I realized all that was entailed and involved in this. But being here has been pretty eye-opening. Um, the amount of people here, it seems like everybody in the city right now has something to do with the, the bid in some way for all the different countries. So it's been fun, um, it's been a good experience, and hope we win. There's a lot that goes on that you don't realize, and I think I underestimated how important this decision is. And when you think about it, uh, certainly culturally, politically, economically, um, from a legacy standpoint, this is a massive decision these 22, 23 um, executive members are making. So it makes you appreciate all that goes into the decisions. It makes you appreciate the 94 World Cup that we got because you realize it's not easy. And uh, you just keep your fingers crossed and hope that they're pulling for us. Public speaking is generally not something I liked to do when I was younger, but now I kind of embrace it. Uh, this is a little different because it's a presentation, you're timed. Um, any time that I go over my allotted is taking away from other people who probably have equally or more important messages to give. So I'm aware of all that. Um, you're speaking to 22 or 23 guys that are uh, going to be pretty critical. Um, but at the same time, it's fun. Not many people get this opportunity, so I'm going to run with it. You can't get up there having not practice at all. It can't be my first time when I go up on stage. So uh, I've been practicing a lot over the last few days, getting myself comfortable. I'm in the hotel room, looking in the mirror, practicing. Um, and then you have one chance to make it happen, which is like a game. You don't get a second chance. I can't pause and start over once it goes. So you got to make sure that you're prepared as you can be. And then when it's time to go, um, you got to step up. I guess my biggest hope would be that young players today, young guys, guys that play in our development academy, understand and appreciate what's going into this process, uh, what it takes to get a World Cup. For a lot of us, we'll never have the chance to play in a World Cup on our home soil. So you want to make sure that guys take advantage of it when it comes. Um, and it's an experience of a lifetime. Having spoken to the older guys who played in 94, it's one of the best memories of their life. And you want to make sure these young kids appreciate that. From the game standpoint, our national team, our Major League Soccer has grown so much. And so just from like a technical playing standpoint, we're going to be so much better. Um, how much further soccer grows in our country via the fans and the media and those kind of things, uh, it's hard to gauge, but it's obviously going in the right direction. Um, economically, obviously, it would be, there's no question it would be the biggest and most successful World Cup. Um, it's hard to know, but having been a big part of the last 15 years of growth, soccer growth in this country, I can only imagine it's going to at least duplicate that and most likely go above and beyond that.